born, when I was a young age, I mean, I was raised by one parent, you know. Uh, my dad never claimed me, he was in jail. And uh, all I knew was my mom. Just seeing what she was going through in life, man, it was crazy. Uh, seeing her get burnt, dudes was burning her, beating on her, all that stuff. Like, and I was like, man, I gotta make a difference in my life at a young age. I got caught up in the streets, though. Like, you born in poverty, so you just gonna adapt. So I adapted, started joining gangs, doing all that stuff, fighting in school, getting kicked out of school. And my stepdad, named Raheem, they call him Abdul, and he changed my life. At first, I ain't like him, cause I ain't accept, I, I ain't accept no man. I ain't never had no man in my life. My mentality was like, man, I don't know you, man. You keep you, you keep your distance, man. And my mama told me, you gotta learn how to love. It's, I remember the first day I touched the football field, I scored like twice. And one day my dad was like, I'll give you $100 every time you score a touchdown. I balled. Next game, I scored like six, seven times. And that's how me and my dad bonded to, with football, man. Like, and then we moved to Virginia. First dude I met, it was, it, we just hit off at the beginning, but we was in the wrong path, man. Honestly, man, I was, I was doing bad stuff, man. My mama told me, she was like, you're going to be just like your daddy. And when she told me, it really didn't hit me, man, until I got arrested. And first person you see is your mom walk through the door and the, the police call. And you're like, dang, like, I really felt her. And like, my Coach Scott, man, he saved my life. Him, Officer Bernstein, Mr. Allard. Miss Christina, like, I got a crazy support system, man. I, I ain't really noticed that until that day, like, man, you getting in trouble. Coach Scott told me, he was like, man, Shmuel, you, you talented, but you gonna lose all that just cause you in the streets fighting and stuff. And I was, I, he was like, man, you gotta make a choice. And then that day, I made my mind, I changed my whole mentality about everything, the aspect of life. So I just made my mind, like, I'm gonna be different, man. But it was just my heart, my drive, man. Like, oh, the, oh, you, everybody you taking got, a break, bro, I'm bro, still on the field. Bro, what you got? Just like, like I tell people, like, I ain't the biggest, I ain't the strongest, I ain't been the fastest. I, I played one in high school, but I, I won't be out of work, bro. I kind of got that instant connection with you when I first met you, because I was like, I used to see you, like, you were doing it in college. I didn't know who you were, I knew you was from VA, but I seen you doing it from college, I was like, that's the type of people I want to be around, people that's going to push me even harder. I tell people, bro, I'm hurting. I'm hurting, bro. Like, ain't no, a regular person going to do this every day for two years, and you still ain't made it. But I got bro, I got too many people counting on me, man. That's too real. That's real. I, I think the same way, too, man. Like, people think, man, we grind because it's fun, man. We grind because we're <laughs> successful. Man, it's, it's hard to wake up early in the morning. Get up out of bed when your body hurting. Like today, man, you like, man, I seen you today, like, man, my body hurting, but you steady going. Like, people don't understand. That's that's the that's the way to success, man. When your body hurting, they tell you can't do no more, you gotta do the extra. You, you feel, feel me? Like you can't go no more, take one more take step. Take one more step, man. And that's been my that's been my life story, man. Take one more step. I made my mind up, but when I lost both of my parents, my stepdad, I lost my stepdad my junior year in college. Like, I'm like, dang, man, like, I'm busting my butt, grinding. And God keep punishing me. He punished me with injuries, deaths, and the set of them. Next year on top of that, my mama died. I'm like, man, bro, like, God, dang, like, at first I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm, I'm starting to lose my faith. Man, my I wanna even go back to school, honestly. Like I said, I was that type of dude, like, I'm, I gotta do something else, you feel me? But my grandma and Mr. Allen told me, it's like, man, just make your parents proud, man. Just do what they want you to do. They smile down on me, man. Boy, my senior year, as anybody, it was no more partying, no more nothing. It was straight grind, man. Two o'clock in the morning, man, go to the gym, work out with my team, then go back to the gym. Man. Like, that was my mentality, dog. I was hungry. Like, people don't understand, like, it's all I got, bro. It's all I got, and I'm gonna give it my all, bro. Like, I mean, I'm in the league now, bro, but I'm still hungry, man. I wanna be one of the greatest, bro. Like, that's my mentality, that's my passion, bro. Like, I cry for this stuff. You guys, any of my, I had a girlfriend in college, man. You ask me, I would go two o'clock morning and cry for this, bro. Cry for this, bro. Like, people don't understand. Everybody see me putting stuff on Instagram. I try to tell them, this shit is real, man. Yeah, it's real, no man. Ain't no game, bro. Like, this people livelihood. Like, you know what I mean? I'm competing every day. Every day, man. Just because you're going through tragedy don't mean it's not a bright side, man. My mom always told me that. She, and like, when she, she died, like, she called me. Like, out of the blue, my mom just called me out of blue random and just said, what's up? Like, man, because I'm in college. She was like, she was like, if I ever go, 
just ch tell me you're just going to reach your dreams and just don't take no for an answer and just be successful. And, and she was like, before she got the phone, she was like, you my chosen one. And then I, I took it like, yeah, mom, yeah, mom, don't be talking like that. I'm right. playing. And Tuesday morning, my little, I would get a phone call. My little brother crying on the phone talking about your mom gone. I'm like, dang, man. God told her to tell that to me, man. Like, I really believe that, man. Like God told her that before I, before she before she died, she had to say that to me to get my mom right. And I'm telling you, dog, like that's why I say I believe in the Lord and everything He does for a reason, man. Like my grandma always told me, God does everything for a reason. Just like just like you know how you had all them challenges and failures, like man, like my grandfather used to say, like God God see a champion through his failures, <laughs> and there's a reason why you had to go through that. And like you you blessed to be where you at, and you. People are gonna hear your name, bro. People know who you are, but they don't know who you is yet. People yeah. gonna hear your name, cause bro, you, you work too hard, man. And, right, yeah, and I, I feel like some of these kids need to hear your story. Like, I, I knew your story, but not to this extent. And bro, I got nothing but respect for you. I know it's love, bro. man. I got nothing respect for you, man. It's, when I see your video, man, worst, I'm like, dog, this is crazy. This man is going ham, man. Great work today, boy. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had some good work in until I, until I threw up. <laughs> I had to throw up. Though. I seen it, boy. You kept going, though. Boom.